because I'm someone who's always prided myself on the language that my mind says is being considerate of other people, essentially being empathetic, attuned to how they might be feeling, what they might, might be wanting, what they might be needing, obviously in connection with me and our relationship, then allowing me to show up in service of that person. And I would, what I was essentially priding myself on being, right, is a compassionate, attuned, attentive, supportive person, not knowing that the pattern that I was actually stuck in wasn't of true grounded empathy, where I'm a separate physical vessel, if you will, with my own emotional needs and sensations at every any given moment that can separate my experience from someone else's. True empathy is the ability to see and experience an interaction, a moment, the world through someone else's experience. And what I came to realize is that which I had always been defining as empathy was actually a, a, a version of hypervigilance, which really simply is the over attunement to our physical environments or our external environments, to other people often in those environments as a form of protection. Because a lot of us, given our early childhood relationships or environmental experiences, had at one time gained a sense of safety by being attuned and more vigilant to what's happening outside of us, whether it was because we had an unpredictable or explosive parent who we could attune to the cues that they might have an explosion or an unpredictable moment, remove themselves for us. And we can then ensure by showing up in the way that, you know, they deem acceptable or, or, or whatever it is in that moment, right? Meeting their need, maybe calming them down, making sure that they don't get upset by whatever it is that would upset them and then dysregulate us. That is how we learned to become safe at one time. And so the way we know the difference, true empathy allows ourselves to be factored in to the experience. And what I came to realize is when I was over attuning to someone else, I was so disconnected from me. So empathy is the ability to say essentially, right? I'm calm in this moment and I'm sensing that you're upset, right? There's a separation, but I can sense your emotions. I don't take on your upset because I'm feeling your upset. I'm able to stay grounded in whatever emotion I'm having and at the same time hold space for the emotional experience that you're having. And I think a lot of us, when we're in that state of hypervigilance, we're all consumed, whether it's the thoughts or the fears or the worries about someone else, what they want or what they need, how they're perceiving us. And we don't even hit pause to determine what we think or feel or want or need in that given moment.